This is a 1959 Ora Bianchi Bianchina Transformabile Series 2. And it's a micro car. So it's a small car with a two cylinder engine, four speed gearbox, uh, four cycle, and the capacity in cubic centimeters of 479 for the engine. It was only produced uh, from 59 through 61. Very interesting history with this car. It was uh, imported into the United States, but probably fewer than 200 ever made it into the United States. Of a total production of uh, 10,000. Eduardo Bianchi. Uh, set up a bicycle making business in Milan in 1885 so that's where the company got its start and it has had a relationship with Fiat and used the uh, Fiat uh, frame innards uh, for its um, for this car and it was considered an upscale version uh, of the Fiat because it had many of the uh, extras that uh, Fiat didn't uh, produce. Notice the suicide door here on the front. And it's a two-seater with the rear engine. And it has that four-speed uh, transmission there on the floor with reverse. And you'll see when we get up to the other side, the instrument cluster is in uh, English metrics. So this one was meant for trans, uh, transshipment to the United States. It's capable of 60 miles per hour. And the uh, gas mileage was up to 50 miles per gallon. So it's a very economical car uh, to operate. The engine's air-cooled which eliminates uh, radiator problems and it's been in numerous films including the Pink, Pink Panther and uh, I Spy, Princess Diaries, Pan Am, many others so it's had a, a career in the films uh, Perhaps not this particular car, but uh, this car model. So, very interesting. George Lucas uh, had a racing version of this, hopped up racing version, and uh, he was broadsided in a uh, in a contest and uh, wound up. Uh, that was the end of the uh, end of his racing career. So he decided to go into films. Uh, so, for that, we uh, owe uh, an unfortunate uh, situation on the racetrack, uh, his, uh, his career in the movies. A car that you won't see on the highway uh, very often, you won't see that coming at you uh, because there are probably only a few around. And you see that convertible top, it maintains the integrity of the uh, rails going all the way back. So a lot more structural integrity than a regular convertible top. Very uh, ingenious.